modulo cartaceo disponibile. We made it to Italy, today was the longest day. We had a nine hour flight or almost nine hour flight. Then we took two trains and we're finally in Florence. And now we're here in our hotel. Our clothes are laid out because we're just gonna shower up real quick and then head out for some food. We are starving. And we're at our first wine tasting. We got premium lunch with four wines because the price difference between the regular one and the premium was not that much. I think it was 10 euros. So we got that one. And then we're actually staying in this property, which works out really well. So yeah, I'm going to try to show you guys everything that we are doing, where we're going. Yesterday, I didn't vlog too much because it was our first day and we had a 12 hour travel day and then we slept at like 11 so we had a very long day plus a time difference we were exhausted by dinner but now i will definitely show you the wine tastings the places that we're staying in tuscany and then when we go back to florence because we really liked our hotel we're gonna stay in the same place again and then our last days in rome <laughs> driving around we just left Chianti and we're gonna be staying in Monte Pulciano I think so we're just gonna drive around maybe hit a winery or two I got coffee and like this almond one I'm really interested in the almond one mm. it has like a light crunch to it to our next airbnb and it is so gorgeous it's definitely a more secluded area but i love it you can see the train passing by from the distance and this is technically a whole apartment or a whole home that has a kitchen a living space and then there's two rooms upstairs there's no other people but us here so technically this space is all ours and then they also have another area where um like you can eat breakfast, but they are gonna leave our breakfast here tomorrow morning. Feeling very grateful to be in Tuscany. This is definitely a place that I have dreamt or dreamed of coming to, and I didn't think that I would come this soon, but we made it happen, we made it happen. It's great coming to the countryside and honestly the middle of nowhere and disconnecting fully. I don't know if this is just me or also maybe just kids of immigrant parents, but I tend to feel kind of guilty whenever I travel or do something pretty cool for myself because I really want them to experience this themselves, especially my mom, and I want to give her the opportunity to travel to places that she's really interested in visiting. So one of my goals is definitely to be able to 
give that to her. I'm still enjoying my time, but that's always in the back of my head, especially when I'm sending her photos or updating her about my trip or telling her I'm going on a trip. Definitely always in my mind. Tuscany has definitely been way colder than we expected. So today I have my only long sleeve that I brought a sweater and a jacket that's not even a winter jacket. The weather will definitely vary year by year. But if you are coming mid to late April, just know that it might be freezing because we are so, so cold. I actually have PJs because I packed two pairs under my trousers today because I could not just wear these thin pants. We just made it to our second winery of the trip and maybe it's gonna be our last one because tomorrow we're leaving back to Florence um, But we went to a restaurant and I thought we had reservations for the wine tasting But it was just for their lunch slash dinner. So we came to another place that has pretty open time They said that the last tour is at 4 p.m. So we're gonna join that one hopefully and then just do a little tasting here because I really want to see the difference between the Chianti Classico and the Montepulciano wines. At the first place, I feel like we kind of went a little crazy and each of us got a 12 bottle case of wine. We were like, maybe we could have shared a box and had six wines each, but we got a little greedy, a little impulsive. So we'll see if we end up buying wine here too. This one is closer. So it smells stronger than it tastes. No, it tastes. <laughs> it tastes as, as strong as it smells. Where are you? You think? No, that was a lot. Oh. Today's our last day in Florence, so today's gonna be a shopping day. Yesterday, I did pick up a bag for my mother in law and my mom for her 50th birthday that's coming up. Kind of running out of clothes, that's the one thing with the 333 method. So, this is what I came up with. I'm wearing all black, just a black t shirt, my Princess Polly trousers. This is from Alamina Concepts, I believe, and it keeps me a little bit warmer underneath my trench. I've been wearing my Rothy's and my sneakers from Dr. Scholl's all the time, and my feet have been in heaven. We're actually back in the same hotel from when we first arrived to Florence before we went around Tuscany, and it's the same hotel, different room. We love it here. They give really good breakfast. We just had some cappuccino, eggs and bacon, fruits, croissants, just a spread of everything. It is more on the outskirts, I would say. Like we have to walk 20 or 30 minutes to get to like the shopping area and the more, I guess, touristy areas. But I really enjoy coming back to a very peaceful, peaceful place. And also you cannot beat this view. Today's our last day in Rome. We got here yesterday, but we were so tired that we saw the Colosseum and then we ate and then we came back, took a nap, and then went to sleep pretty much. The best part about this place is that, or any of the hotels we've been staying at, is that they include breakfast. So 
we just come downstairs and have breakfast and it's always so good i'm gonna miss a yogurt here so much wow it's so good as you can see the curly hair is out for rome makeup is minimal i packed most of my stuff already so that i don't have to worry about it tonight so because there's so many of them that we're interested in so we spray some in the testers first and then as soon as I put some of my favorites on my skin it kind of turned weird like I really wish I liked Legion Paradise but it instantly went like a little bit sweet and medicinal I don't know how <laughs> don't even ask me how and then Pacific Park is amazing I think I'm gonna get that one the damage is done <laughs> we're packing up to leave tomorrow and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to face all these boxes in my book bag because my carry-on is full so i wanted to do a quick haul on the three fragrances that i chose i wanted to go for something sweet something like everyday pretty and then a kind of freshy fruity one for the summertime so we'll start off with this one i actually sampled quite a few from simone andrioli and the one that i thought i would like rotten this is the one that i decided to get from simone andrioli the box looks like this and I got Pacific Park, which I have the notes pulled up right here because I don't remember. It has mandarin orange, pear, black currant. And I also heard that pear is having a moment and I can see why. This one smells amazing. It also has caramel, candied fruit, cotton candy, lily of the valley, white musk, and vanilla. And it sits really, really well on the skin. It doesn't turn disgusting like leisure in paradise right, this one i'm really excited for i was really really contemplating which one to get from grady because i've heard so many great things about a few fragrances i sampled gossip night this one chantilly siracusa and ultimately because i only wanted to go with one from the brand i went with tutu tutu and look how pretty the box is this one is definitely the prettiest in terms of presentation this one has a lot of notes it has like raspberry mousse from what, from what I remember, it also has marshmallow, but also bergamot. It's very, very unique. And I have it on still. It still is on my skin. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's like a really nice everyday fragrance that you can also wear for special occasions. Also, when I would see it online, I would look at it like this, right? I had no idea it was this wide, but it's really beautiful. The bottle is heavy, so definitely going to think about where I'm going to pack this. And then the last one that I got was the Bianco Latte. Probably gonna leave this box here for sure. And it smells sweet. It definitely smells like it has like a hint of coffee, but it's nothing too, it's nothing bitter at all, to be honest. Very comforting. I can't wait to douse myself in this one. This one definitely has the best longevity from the three that I've sprayed onto today. Honestly, in terms of longevity, definitely Pacific Park. Where is it? Has the least amount but it's also lighter and fresher so that's to be expected then tutu but i didn't spray that much but then bianco latte because it is a gourmand does stay on the skin and on the clothes for a very very long time i'll definitely wear these more review them I'll let you guys know but that's gonna be it for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i really enjoyed my time here in italy i can't wait to come back already i was pretty much hating on rumble when we first got here because we were so tired and we just went to the coliseum but today it was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.